Good afternoon, gentlemen. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be running through how to check how much a holder paid for their tokens. And why this is so important is because if someone's paid for a token and they're a top holder, we can find out exactly how much they paid and how likely they are to actually hold the token in the long term, which gives you an indication of should I enter this token, especially if it's a low cap, if a, ho a top holder, let's say they own two or three percent, maybe more. What's the likelihood of them holding if they're a hundred X? Um, if their current wallet is worth, you know, four BNB and they paid 0 0.1, it's a good chance that that person's going to sell and they might sell a higher percentage of what's in the liquidity and it might affect the chart and everyone's at a loss and it can really affect the project and it could not be a good entry for you. So, all in all, this is going to be a good, you know, sort of. I always say data is king when investing rather than hopes and feelings and dreams. Um, data is what, what sort of drives investment decisions better. So I'll go ahead and show you how it all works. And we're basically going to be using BSC and we're going to be using BSC scan. Now, like I said before, this is a great skill to have. So we're just going to find like a random token um, on here. Let's see if anything's cropped up recently and we want something with potentially not a scam king doge possibly no no thanks I mean, this is this is the part where these are all the new tokens released so let's go for this one flag so that looks like it's actually possibly got some action so for example you might want to look at this um as a what did this person pay when he entered or we can go ahead and just check the holder list here. So the holder list is going to be a good indication of what does it look like. So these are big wallets. I don't know if these are marketing or if these are pancake swap. That one's obviously pancake swap or what these are. But we could go ahead and let's assume this is the top wallet. I don't know why there's an eight percent wallet, but we could have a look and see actually. So they've transferred. So that seems like that's the owner. Maybe they tested a transfer of 0 0.1 and then that. So if you go ahead and click the transaction hash here, this means it's a transfer. So that's been transferred from somewhere, whether that's another wallet that, you know, just a regular holder. And they've also transferred 3,000 out. So they've received 7,000, which is 7%. We can track how that's come in as well. So it's come from here um, and it's come from this contract and it's got sent to here so that's the wallet we were looking at and that's the wallet where it's been received from so we can see they brought in one percent and they received the transfer as well so we're going to check that as well um, and they received from here which seems like it's the owner wallet um, of the whole contract potentially but anyway we'll go back and we'll have a little look and see what we were originally looking at the holder list and we want to see if anyone actually paid for the tokens so have a look here again transfer 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 and this gives you a good indication that something funny is up because these are always good to check um, maybe we can go down I think these are all transfers to be honest so here we can see, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe we can find a different example because that seems like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. Um, Labrador Doge, maybe. Looks very similar chart wise. Looks like a kind of legitimate project. Um, the reason I'm scrolling all the way down is I'm looking for what was the first sort of purchase? $8. So I want to see how much they got. You can click this transaction bit here. And it tells you, look, $8 was paid. And then it shows you all the reflections and etc. and the gas fee. Um, so we can go ahead and look at the wallet. And this is how much is in their wallet. And if we click BEP20 transactions, we can go ahead and find the token. Alternatively, you can click here and you can search Labrador here. Sometimes it doesn't come up, but let's have a look and see if we can find it here. Labrador Doge, if you just click that, it will tell you everything they've ever done. Um, so they've purchased for $8 
and that's pretty much it. So going back to the actual list, we can find out what the top holders have paid for. So this is this seems a bit more legitimate. It seems like there's a 2% max wallet. Let's find out how much this top holder paid. So they've done three buys, this shows. So obviously that looks like it was at launch and they just bought again, maybe the dip recently. So that's probably 1%, that's 0 0.3 and that's 0 0.4. So all in all, they're close to 2%, which is the max wallet. So they purchased for 110. That you could use PooCoin. I mean, this doesn't look like a bad token if it's pumping up um, in a way. We can go on to like PooCoin or PancakeSwap and we can see how much that token's worth. If we go to the swap section, We can click here and we can say, put that to BUSD, for example. And we can say $100 is worth, I think, 13%. Um, or oh, I could have that wrong. That could be 19. So that's their wallet in a nutshell, which is ha having a 10% price impact. That means they won't receive 10% of the tokens. So that person isn't even in a massive amount of profits. So potentially this could be, you know, I would earmark this as safe. If it was, you know, they were sitting on $2,000, I would say there's a good likelihood that they're going to sell. However, they probably brought here and it's not much higher. They're probably 2x from their money. So actually this looks like an, an entry from a holder perspective. This looks like a good entry point. They have a max wallet. It looks pretty safe. However, I would have obviously invested this because that many people here, all that section, all those people that brought, which might be a lot, are all in a loss. They've either, some of them have either sold, some of them might have even brought the dip. But it seems like, you know, for an early launch, it takes a lot to get the token back up here. People, it will reach here and then people will say, oh, this is my chance to exit. I'm finally break even or. I'm not losing too much money. So unless it's a slow grind up, like something like this is a bit alarming if it keeps going up, unless they've just done a call. But I wouldn't look at, you know, investing in something where it's a particularly low market cap anyway. But I hope it's giving you an indication. Again, you know, just go onto the holder list. I'll show you once more. Click any of the holders. See when they purchased. I mean, this person's... But become a max holder very recently. So they've just paid $20. So they paid in um, Binance pegged, what is that, USD. And it swapped it to that, which is BNB. Come over and then I've paid $20 and all the tax has gone out. And then they've paid $50. I mean, it's you know, and they've paid another $50. So they've chucked in $120 minus tax. And they're hoping, obviously, to flip that. So from my perspective, these people are investing. And it's not like anyone got in cheap. What I don't want to see is I click a wallet. Someone got max wallet for $20. And now it's worth $5,000 or 2000 Because that's an indication that that person will probably sell. And if there is someone sitting on, you know, $1,000... Look at the liquidity. It's worth 1500 So you have to bear that in mind with that um, as well. So those two wallets that I just showed you, the one that brought before early, uh, they put in $100 or so, and then this one that's put in about $100. They're probably, you know, got a nice percentage of that. They've got $200, $300 between them, and that's not a massive amount of the liquidity. It's not going to kill the project you might get a candle that looks about that big, I would say, if both of them sold, maybe a bit more. So really and truly, it will drop it to here, which has already been here, so it's not going to kill the project. And hopefully, over time, you know, you can get used to seeing these tokens. And fingers crossed, this does well, and those people can take some profits along the way. Hope you found this video somewhat useful. I've rambled on as usual, but if you've got any questions, let me know.